Sundays at 9, premiering this Sunday on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 71 degrees with showers in the area. Tonight, cloudy intervals, slight chance of a rain shower, low 72, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Thursday, partly cloudy, chance of a thunderstorm, high 78, chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, thunder showers, low 72, winds east northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, chance of rain 50%. Here's our seven-day outlook. All right, listen up. Out on that field today, you will be ready for anything. And I want you to always remember, this is the greatest team you will ever be part of. There's important work to be done. Hold that stone. That's how much. And only some able to do it. Can you make the cut? Go, 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 go. In the nation, misfortune doesn't take a holiday. But add brand new belongings from Nationwide and we'll replace stolen or destroyed items with brand new versions. Making sure every season is the season of giving. Just another way we put members first. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. With the wrong wiper blades, you could be on the road to trouble. But with Michelin Stealth Wiper Blades, with Smart Flex technology and Smart Hinge exterior, you can see clear for the road ahead. Michelin Stealth, a better way forward. Get your Michelin Wiper Blades at Walmart. What are you doing? The dishes are clean. Just gotta scrape the rest of the food off them. Ew. Dish issues? Cascade Platinum powers through your toughest messes better than the competition the first time. Cascade, now that's clean. the bold new Camry. You can get a great deal during Toyotathon. I love the new look. And it's a blast to drive. Oh, so you've driven it. <laughs> yeah, I've taken it for a spin. Toyotathon is on. Get low 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the bold new 2015 Camry. Offer ends January 5th. Now with the Xfinity TV Go app, you can watch live TV anytime. It's never been easier with so many networks all in one place. Get live TV whenever you want. The Xfinity TV Go app. Now with live TV on the go. Enjoy over Wi-Fi or on Verizon Wireless 4G LTE. Plus, enjoy special savings when you purchase any new Verizon Wireless smartphone or tablet from Comcast. Visit Comcast.com slash wireless to learn more. How does the Dyson Ball vacuum at only $449 have better overall performance across all floors than any other vacuum? This is an example of how we test machines. It proves ours has stronger suction than this vacuum. In fact, it has the strongest suction of any vacuum. Our ball technology turns on the spot, and with its wider cleaner head, you can cover the room faster. Order today, and you'll receive a free flat-out tool and free durable tool bag, even free shipping to your door at buydyson.com. Selection changes every day for the latest fashion that fits your style and your budget. Go to Zulily.com today. This Sunday night. Get down now! Prospectors, the Million Dollar Mountain. Sundays at 9, premiering this Sunday on the Weather Channel. All right, so before the break, we asked if you knew what this was. This is actually an ice volcano in Green Bay, Wisconsin. They've been popping up across the Great Lakes, requiring a pretty unique set of conditions to form. Obviously, you've got to have that cone of ice right there, a little bit of wave action, sending that water up through the middle. I'm in the lab now with Jim Cantori. Jimmy, ever seen anything like that? Uh, 
kind of, but it wasn't from a lake. It was the okay. fountain we had at Linden State College. Uh -huh. And when it got cold, 20, 30 below, the ice would just build and build and build and build. And it would still be spewing out the top in January, which is kind of amazing. So you had this 20-foot tall tower of ice. Uh, cool. You know, I would imagine the ice probably had to form here first. Right. And then the wave action kind of bent it up to a point where you had a hole or a crack in it. Uh -huh. And then you got that kind of... Definitely a lot safer than the volcano that you, they have in, uh, in Hawaii, right? Yeah, a little cooler for sure, Kel. <laughs> a little, little, little sure. cooler. Hey, all right, let's talk about uh, a little bit farther west. I was waiting for a cheese head to pop up on top of the thing. <laughs> How about the Packers taking it to New England last right? weekend? That was just tremendous. Anyway, uh, as we look at uh, I-80 here, it looks a little messy. Look yeah. how green it is, Kel. When's That's the last nice time Sacramento's see. looked this green? This huh? is great news. I this mean, we incredible. have been praying for rain yeah. for months, years, right? For, but the drought years. that's been going on? Yeah, the stat out of San Francisco is really amazing. Uh, almost four inches of rain in the last four days. That's more than they had the entire, entire 2013 year. Wow. That's it. I mean, they had like, you know, 3.38, so they crushed it. And the snowpack was dismal as well. Uh, exactly. So, so let's build it up. This pattern is going to stay with us, so this is good. A couple of heavy lines of storms. This could be why we had the traffic problems on I-80, mm -hmm. by the way, east of Sacramento. This is some pretty heavy rain, a couple inches an hour. There's some thunder uh, and lightning in through here as well, and this is heading up uh, into the northern Sierra, the Mount Shasta, Siskiyou region, so be on the lookout for that. We'll still see a little bit more snow, probably about six to eight inches in the highest elevations, but now we'll watch this system that's going to affect the southeast. This this weekend make its way uh, towards Southern California. It's a little stretched out. It's a little weak, but still in the burn areas, there are flash flood watches out for what mm -hmm. could be another inch of rain. And that's mm -hmm. all, you know, depending on the slope, that's all it could take to really cause you know, this kind of pattern. Through. Somebody's been asking me on Facebook, is this like an El Nino kind of pattern that we're seeing with the Southern branch being as active as it is? Uh, I think, uh, you know, it, it, certainly that's that's more the pattern that we would see. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it would need to persist for a little bit long, while right. longer, but you know, it's going to be with us for a while. So then mm -hmm. we're, we're starting it up huh? and we'll see how big it's going to get. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what we got in through here. We've got uh, a few showers, looks like, popping up around Palm Springs. So we're getting a little convective here in Southern California today. Remember, it hasn't rained all day, so we'll watch out for some heavier showers and thunderstorms to pop up in some of these areas. Mm -hmm. So the two disturbances that we're watching sitting off the California coast will eventually make their way into the United States, and then it gets kind of interesting on the East Coast. Yeah, big question mark because the computer models are kind of uh, all over the place on this well, one. Well, <laughs> there, there's, there's where is the position going to be mm -hmm. and how much cold air do we have, right? Those are the two big questions that we have. Uh, the American model isn't very bullish at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just kind of takes this thing and, and kicks it on out like there's nothing there. The European model, however, wants to get a little bit more of the northern branch energy in it, mm -hmm. make it a little bit colder, and create potentially over interior New England a little bit more snow, maybe even some heavy snow on Monday and Tuesday. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with all this going on, regardless of how weak it is and where it's going to be, there's still enough energy to get some, some sleep, maybe a little light rain on the coast. This looks perhaps a lot worse than it's going to be. But mm -hmm. you know what? If we get a big storm coming up the East Coast on Monday night and Tuesday, this could actually be a big deal mm -hmm. across uh, interior New England. So, you know, well, timing will sort this out. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is the European model. Ooh. Look at the energy here in the Mid-South. This actually comes in, creates another low-pressure system, which comes up the East Coast on Wednesday night. Wow. Active so, pattern for so the East yeah, Coast So, yeah, the here. European says uh, we're going to be into some big snow for the Northeast. Right. Now, we have to talk about this. This is a huge right. deal. This is Hagapit, a uh, super typhoon today. Look at that thing. It's just a monster out and through here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Philippine Kelly, Islands. here is the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, 13 months ago, we had high-end super typhoon as well. Mm -hmm. You know, 4 million people homeless. There are still thousands of people in tents. Mm -hmm. 7,000 people lost their lives. Headed their way, Jim? It, well, here's the deal. Japan says yes. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center kind of brings it in, but then keeps it close enough. Mm. All right, th that's pretty much what they're doing with this right now. Here, here's the deal. This thing's going to go from 150 to 185 miles per hour. Wow. We don't do very well with intensity forecasts. Even if it weakens back down to 150, we got big problems. All right, we'll All right, certainly so we be watching really this. we really need to watch this. This mm -hmm. could be a global weather story in the days to come. All right, Jim, and we're back at the top of the hour. Stay right there. Currently in our area, 70 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, cloudy intervals, slight chance of a rain shower, low 72, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Thursday, partly cloudy, chance of a thunderstorm, high 78, chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, thunder showers, low 72, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, chance of rain 
50%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Joining us tonight on Weather Center Live, I'm Nick Walker. And I'm Kelly Cass. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. Well, that's for sure. More lake effect snow moving across western and upstate New York. But New York City, great weather for the tree lighting tonight at Rockefeller Plaza. In the meantime, take a look at this. So much rain in California that some of the sewer systems are overflowing, causing manhole covers to blow. The days and days of rain, while needed, Boy, they've just saturated the San Francisco Bay Area, haven't they? Causing problems like this. At least two sinkholes. Rock slides and flooding have also closed several portions of roadways in recent days. Let's go out to the lab now for expert analysis from storm tracker Jim Cantori. Jim? Isn't that amazing, guys? I mean, yeah. the rainfall that we just had over the last four days, where we didn't get anything even remotely close to that over the last year in San Francisco, uh, wow causing all those problems and that's typically how it goes you know when when the floodgates open up again they they really open up again as you can see the tremendous sinkholes uh that ensued in and around san francisco and the flooding as well even along major thoroughfares the 101 uh incredible let's take a look at this stat i talked about it with kelly during the, the uh, update now i'm going to have it in the stack here it is 395 since sunday at uh, sfo all of 2013 all of 2013 3.38 that's the stat of the storm, ladies and gentlemen. That is the stat uh, of the storm without question. All right, what's going on here? We still have this upper low sitting out and through here, and it's got another couple of pieces that want to rotate into Northern California. So you know what that means? We'll have showery weather probably continuing here uh, at least into the early part of the weekend. So we're not going to get out of the rain completely here. So we'll take it. We'll absolutely take it, but we're really looking at two pieces now, uh, the upper storm to the north, and then this second piece, which is allowing the moisture to surge in again. Uh, we haven't had much at all today in Southern California, but now the moisture's deep and the showers and even a few thunderstorms potentially uh, even developing in Southern California. So Sacramento just getting it uh, big time here. We had a couple of inches of rain in a very, very short period of time out of these storms. Even though they're moving, you'll notice that we had one band come through, it moved east, then some of these storms kind of back built uh, and repeated themselves themselves right over Interstate 80. So guess what's ensued in through here is a closer look at the radar there and you can see what's been happening. We had one round of storms there. That is that moves on to the northeast and here comes the next one almost over the same spot. So we have uh, training storms and in some cases a uh, storm drains that are clogged. Here's uh, I-80 along the Caltrans uh, or I this is the Caltrans camera along I-80 just east of Sacramento and you can see the traffic here is uh, backed up. I would imagine this is eastbound traffic. Look at the spray too coming off of uh, some of these uh, some of these cars and through here. Here's I-80 as well. Look at that traffic indeed uh, and one of the things that we pointed out too is the tremendous amount of greenery that is also now visible because of uh, of the recent rain so many of you getting more rain uh, than you've seen in many many months just out of this uh, single storm now round two for southern cal here it is coming in looks like we're getting uh, potentially a couple convective cells here in san bernardino area up toward palm springs we'll keep an eye on that a couple of areas in southern california by the way five to eight inches locally now that's not the the you know not everybody got that but a couple of folks got uh, five to eight inches of rain out of the last event maybe another couple of inches coming in tonight here's the disturbance racing off to the northeast toward los angeles the moisture which is strung out ahead of that this by the way is the same system that will affect the southeast this weekend but right now the big concern is for southern california and the burn areas as a matter of fact there is a flood watch out for the burn areas of southern california tonight for up to an inch of rain so depending on where you are and the slope of where you live uh could certainly mean that that this may be just enough to kind of push push things over the edge if, if we get one of these uh, showers and storms. I don't think this is going to be steady overall rain. It will be more showery, more hither and yon in terms of uh, what we're going to see. Again, in Northern California, some of you may also be tested tonight, uh, especially here in the Northern Sierra, where we're seeing that those lines of storms move up toward uh, and east of Sacramento. So two to three inches in the forecast here over some of the burn areas that we had uh, this past summer. Kelly and Nick, a lot of fires, unfortunately 
especially now with the rain on top of that. That means everything has a chance to slide. Yeah, in fact, Jim, you know, we showed that sinkhole that opened up in San Francisco. Well, flooding has also blocked several lanes on certain highways here in California. So that's been an issue for us as well. NBC's Mark Barger has the latest for us. Drought stricken California has needed rain, but not this much this fast. More than an inch in the Bay Area turned highways into waterways. Up to six inches of rain are possible in some areas of the state by the time it ends Thursday. That's more than Los Angeles has had all year. We're prepared to handle the worst, but we keep hoping for the best. The heavy downpours are blamed for this large sinkhole in San Francisco. In San Jose, one woman's cart was consumed by a wall of water, reaching almost to the door handles. But the driver managed to wade to safety. Near Los Angeles, potential mudslides are the concern for residents in foothill communities already scarred by wildfires. In the Camarillo Springs neighborhood, crews worked Tuesday to remove mud and debris that flowed down from a rain-saturated hillside near the homes. The spillways loading up with mud and rocks, and the trucks and uh, skip loaders are here to keep the storm drain open. Earlier evacuation orders have been lifted for the area, but with more rain expected, some homeowners are opting to stay away. Mark Barger, NBC News. All right, what a mess there. And yeah, we could see a mess this weekend. Unfortunately, it's been so gorgeous lately too in the city of Atlanta. This is the view from the Coca-Cola World Headquarters. Hopefully you're enjoying that sunshine because we've got some changes on the way, right, Nick? We do, and probably some rain coming in outside the Georgia Dome for the SEC Championship. A wet weekend coming across the South. Dry now, but we have seen a little bit of rain moving through the Memphis area and into Western Tennessee. Just a little taste of what is to come. There are more clouds and they're gathering and increasing and thickening up and we're going to see evidence of rain from them as we head into the weekend due largely to the fact that we've got this disturbance here in the Pacific. That's right. You heard Jim Cantori mention it moving not only through California but into the midsection of the nation here by Friday. This weak upper level disturbance, this dip in the jet stream, this little ripple helping to draw moisture northward and so we're going to see this rain from Texas all the way to Florida up into the Tennessee and the Ohio River Valleys. A lot of areas are going to get wet here come this weekend and we'll continue to see that start on Friday here actually starting Thursday night back towards San Antonio Dallas Oklahoma City and Little Rock look for some scattered thunderstorms on into Friday the rain could get heavy here around the Ozarks and into western Tennessee and then on Saturday we'll see that increase through Alabama through Georgia Tennessee and into the Carolinas got another game to tell you about too that's the ACC championship the Seminoles and the Yellow Jackets squaring off there in Charlotte and it looks like rainy times as we head through the game. So uh, make sure you got something to cover your head if you're going to be a spectator for this game. Stay tuned. This program brought to you by O'Keefe's Working Hands. Guaranteed relief for dry hands that crack and split. My job is so hard on my hands. The cracks were the worst part. O'Keefe's Working Hands. Guaranteed relief for dry hands that crack and split. There was a difference within just minutes of it absorbing into my skin. Only O'Keefe's has given me the relief that I need. Learn more at workinghands.com. At Panera Bread, our hearty, all-natural turkey chili is back in season. Slow-cooked with turkey raised without antibiotics. Tart tomatillos, chilies, carrots, edamame, and more. The savory spice of the chili pairs perfectly with the black bean hummus and the fresh crunch of Napa cabbage blend in our Southwestern chicken flatbread. And it all comes together in a you pick two made just for you. Only at Panera Bread. Brighten your rainy day with Panera Bread's chicken tortellini alfredo with Caesar salad. When heartburn comes creeping up on you, fight back with relief so smooth, it's fast. Tums Smoothie starts dissolving the instant it touches your tongue and neutralizes stomach acid at the source. Smoothies, only from Tums. Here's our new trainer, Ensure Active Heart Health. I maximize good stuff, like my potassium and phytosterols, which may help lower cholesterol. New Ensure Active Heart Health supports your heart and body so you stay active and strong. Ensure, take life in. This Thursday on the Weather Channel Mornings, NASA is set to test launch the Orion space capsule, taking one giant leap toward landing on Mars, and it will be entirely dependent on the weather. I'll be live from Cape Canaveral with the official forecast. Don't miss Wake Up With Al and America's Morning Headquarters.
Currently in our area, 70 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, slight chance of a rain shower, low 72. Thursday, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, high 79. Thursday night, thunder showers, low 72. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. Monday night this fall. What is it that produces these things? The Weather Channel unlocks the secrets of the earth. The all-new season continues Monday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Today we're checking out some of the top gifts that Walmart has at unbeatable prices. And I'm going to show you how to wrap them. First, we have the Beats Pill XL. Now, that's a tough one to wrap, Melissa. I would just wrap it like a piece of candy. Okay, next, for the kids, this Zoomer Dino. Good luck wrapping that. This is when a gift bag comes in handy. Well, now, an amazing KitchenAid stand mixer. Stumped you on this one, didn't I? Nope. You're good. It's a gift. Get to Walmart for the top 100 gifts at unbeatable prices or order online for free shipping by Christmas. More ways to Christmas joy. Walmart. Clean up this holiday with the cordless Dyson DC 59 vacuum. Expert service, unbeatable price, Best Buy. This is a map of the pressure points on my feet. I had flat feet. I learned where the stress was at the Dr. Schultz Foot Mapping Center. Then I got my number, which matched the custom fit orthotic inserts with the right support. Go to drschultz.com for locations and save $10. I'm a believer. A look at that picture. Rockefeller Center, and there's that tree right in the middle of it. That's going to be lit up tonight with 45 thousand LED bulbs and a big 550 pound star on top. <laughs> what a beautiful sight it's going to be. A lot of performances going on. Crowds already beginning to gather. And uh, all in all, it doesn't look like too bad of a night. It's a little breezy out there, but we're glad that the rain is staying away. In fact, there's a sure sign that Christmas is right around the corner. The Rockefeller Center Christmas tree in New York City will be lit in just about an hour from now. And as you're about to see, getting that massive tree in place and decorated is no small feat. A Reagan Maggi explains all that goes into getting it ready and making sure it can withstand the harsh winter weather. It's one of the most iconic symbols of Christmas in the Big Apple, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. It's very impressive, very impressive, I have to say. There's a lot of work to make sure this 13-ton tree from northeastern Pennsylvania stays in place. It's secured by four cords to four different points, and that touch point is almost at the center of the tree itself, so it can withstand winds or the bad weather, the rain and the snow. There's a lot of prep work going into the rock Rockefeller Christmas tree. As you can see, these boxes behind me contain all the electrical equipment for that annual tree lighting ceremony. But what you might not see is all the effort that goes into making sure this 85-foot Norway spruce doesn't topple over in those December winds. The base of the tree itself and the foundation is a series of I-beams that are constructed and bolted together, and the tree fits perfectly within that structure. After it's secured, the decorating begins. Our electricians wrap the tree with 45,000 LED lights over five miles of wire, and that process takes approximately three weeks. And each step of the way, people from near and far snap family photos of the tree and all its magic. Just the tradition of it, just the lighting and the atmosphere of everybody being here and just kickstarting the Christmas season and family and all of it. It's spectacular and the lights and the angels and all the people and there's just, you know, you watch movies and you get to be part of like that whole Christmas miracle. 
Reagan Major reporting. Now, the tree lighting special begins at 8 o'clock tonight on NBC. The forecast looking pretty decent. We've got rain and snow to the north of New York City, but New York City, you're in fine shape here. As a matter of fact, I think we'll see a little bit of moonlight out there as well. Here's your forecast, and as we get through the evening hours, we're going to see even more clearing skies. Notice it is going to be a bit chilly down into the 40s, so uh, bundle up the kids and uh, maybe put an extra layer on you as well. Just to, you know, to guard against that little nip in the cold. Kelly? I've skated there before, Nick, or should I say fell a lot <laughs> at Rockefeller Center. But if you do want to do some ice skating or check out the tree, it's going to be lit, by the way, all the way into the first week of January. So go and enjoy that. In fact, tomorrow looks like a beautiful day for that as well. Maybe doing a little shopping along Fifth Avenue. Beautiful weather, New York City, Boston, temperatures in the 40s. So you will need an extra layer or two. But otherwise, we're mild in the south. Look at Atlanta, 66 degrees, 66 degrees in Dallas as well. We will see some wet weather, though, across the Ohio Valley. Your bears are home, by the way, in Chicago for some Thursday night football, and it looks like you're going to be on the northern edge of that precipitation. Here comes the wet weather, though. It's going to reach you, Chicago, as we head into Friday. Rain as far north as Buffalo, Pittsburgh. Yeah, temperatures are going to be a little too warm for that wintry precipitation, but the rain falling all the way down into Dallas and Treeport, and yet we're going to keep the west coast pretty active over the next couple of days as well. A good thing, since we're trying to make a dent in the drought here in California, get a little bit of a break for Los Angeles and San Francisco as we get into our weekend. Not not so for the eastern half of the country. They'll look at the wet weather from Atlanta all the way up to Pittsburgh, and you get into some of that colder air. There will be that wintry mix, even all snow across portions of northern New York State, northern New England as well. Sunday, we've got still a little bit of wet weather across the mid-Atlantic. The Redskins are home, by the way. D.C. looks a little wet for that. And we're tracking a wintry mix moving across the northern plains into the upper Midwest. Looks cold and snowy and blustery for Minneapolis for doing that shopping at the Mall of America. Tuesday, we've got still some snow showers in the northeast, wet weather across the Pacific North. Northwest, and then Wednesday looks pretty quiet overall. All right, listen up. Out on that field today, you will be ready for anything. And I want you to always remember, this is the greatest team you will ever be part of. There's important work to be done. And only some able to do it. Can you make the cut? It's easy to buy insurance and forget about it. But the more you learn about your coverage, the more gaps you might find. Like how you thought you were covered for this. Check it out, Mom. When you're really only covered for this. Or how you figured you're covered for this when you're actually paying for this. You might be surprised at what's hiding in your coverage. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Call 1-800-FARMERS and see how much you could save. The clock is ticking, so let's grab the list and go to town. You don't need a lot of this to make someone feel like that, especially if you give them one of these. Holiday to-dos? Let's get them done today at the one place that can help us bring it all home. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Buy a combo kit and get up to 150 bucks toward any cordless power tool, radio, or battery. To remove this spaghetti stain, let's compare an entire tub of OxyClean to just a half a cup of Clorox bleach. Okay. Huh. How is that called clean? Clorox. Eliminate stains better than OxyClean. From I wonder what it is, to you'll never guess. Everything from L.L. Bean is backed by the same rock-solid guarantee. So while they keep guessing, you know that we'll take it back or replace it. L.L. Bean. Guaranteed to please. This weekend, we won't show the season premiere of Prospectors. Oh, mother. Are you kidding me? Until we've shown them all. Let the fun begin. <laughs> Dig in for a three-night...
Remember when you were little and you got us for the holidays? How about getting another gift this holiday you'll love just as much? Like this Honda Accord during Happy Honda Days. It's got Pandora compatibility. And a rear view camera. Is that Tex? Yeah! <laughs> My bad, that, that one's on me. Get something you'll love at the Happy Honda Day sales event, where all 2015 models come standard with a rear view camera. Their dog and possibly their home is taken care of. New to Rover? Get one night free at rover.com slash TV. Ride on the most treacherous highway in the world to experience the high risk of heavy rescue. Highway through hell, Sundays at 10 on the Weather Channel. Thursday, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. High 79. Thursday night, thunder showers. Low 72. Chance of rain 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. A community in East Tennessee is in mourning. Last night we told you about a crash in Knoxville involving two school buses that claimed the lives of three people, a teacher's aide and two students, a six-year-old and seven-year-old. Dozens of other students were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Now at the time of the crash, roadways in the area were wet from rain, but a preliminary investigation shows it does not appear to be weather-related. Definitely an unfortunate tragedy. Just heartbreaking indeed. And Kelly, drivers across California are going to need to be careful with rain still falling and flash flood warnings in effect for several areas. Storm tracker Jim Cantori is in the lab to break down this situation. It's good that we're getting the rain, but it can also have problems along with it. Yeah, and we got some problems tonight around Sacramento and also up toward Red Bluff. Uh, areas are being flooded. Also, a lot of the water guys, remember, it's not just fall in the east and the southern Appalachians and the Rockies. You have fall in California as well. Trees uh, and leaves, I should say, leaves are clogging some of the drains there, creating some problems. But we have had the, even Interstate 80 at times uh, flooded out. Here's the current flash flood warning that we have for you for El Dorado, Nevada, and Placer counties. Uh, Auburn, Granite Bay, and Rockland right there along the interstate, unfortunately dealing with some very, very heavy rain. Now, this is the second round that's coming in here. So, you know, the first round came through, saturated everything. Here comes the second round, a couple of pretty heavy cells uh, working their way to the north. These should slide out of the warning. All right. There's some stuff developing down to the south, but it's going to clip the southeastern part of the warning uh, as we go through the next 20 minutes or so. So uh, hang in there, guys. But, you know, this is just too much of a good thing. Unfortunately, some of these rainfall totals are up around two inches just with those cells and possibly even more. So there's going to be some issues there. We have a lot of burn scars uh, up in this region as well. So that's going to be another concern as some of this rain uh, continues to pull on off toward the northeast. Our snow, about six to eight inches uh, left over. Again, our snow level is pretty high in through here. And speaking of snow, We've had a heck of a snowpack built up, especially in the month of November. Remember, we were over 50% on November 17th. All right, now we are less than 25% across the nation. And we will be probably seeing less than that, I think, coming forward because of the air mass that we're going to have. We're going to have Pacific air coming in. That air is going to sink over the Rockies. It is going to warm in through here. And we will continue to eat away, uh, as you know. Uh, with that snowpack. So don't expect a, a lot more in through here uh, anytime soon. All right, here's what's going to go on as we go through the next several days, watching a couple of disturbances. Both of these are going to head off toward the east. How they interact with each other is yet to be determined. That's what the models are trying to do. They're trying to figure out how all this energy is going to propagate to the east and become something uh, for our weather. Well, we know this system on Friday is going to make for a soggy east 
as we go into Sunday, certainly Saturday, Sunday, and possibly in toward early Monday. This particular model that we show you here separates the two systems. There's another model that actually kind of influences this one, dumps a little bit of its cold air into this system, so we actually have more of a snow situation to talk about in the Northeast, and that model I'm speaking of is the European, and here it is. So here you go, high pressure comes in, here comes the system from California, bringing the rain to St. Louis, Nash, Vegas as we get in toward Friday, Atlanta, you'll be wet on Saturday, Roanoke, D.C. as well, New York, Boston, in probably as well. We just don't have a ton of cold air, but uh, over the interior, especially if this model verifies, we could actually have a decent snowfall uh, for Monday afternoon and into Tuesday morning. So this is something we absolutely have to watch. And then this same European model actually has some energy with some snow in parts of the Mid-South here coming up as we go into Tuesday night. And then that moves and creates another low to come up the East Coast for Wednesday. So back-to-back -back nor'easters, if you will, possible at least from the latest European guidance. But we know it changes. Tuesday, the American model says this is out to sea and it's not a problem. Uh, hopefully, guys, soon these will come to some kind of Consensus. Back to you. <laughs> we need to agree on something. Watch this space. <laughs> That's right. All right, we have a lot more to talk about tonight. Say it ain't snow. We're seeing some of that across upstate New York. A little bit of lake enhancement out there as well, but just how much are we talking about? We're going to outline that for you, let you know exactly what you can expect in the forecast and the timing of it all straight ahead. View from Above, brought to you by Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Explore more at tourksc.com. The journey to Mars begins Thursday, December 4th, 7.05 a.m. at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Witness history as NASA launches the spacecraft that will take astronauts to Mars. Visit tourksc.com for launch viewing tickets. If you're driving and you can't see clearly for one second at 60 miles per hour, you can't see clearly for 88 feet. And a lot can happen in 88 feet. That's why Bosch created the new Icon with ClearMax 365. It's a rubber technology for longer lasting performance, not found on any other wiper blade. Because like you, Bosch cares about what's ahead. Puff snows winter is hard on your face. The start of sneeze season, the wind-blown watery eyes, and of course, the snow angels with your little angels. That's why Puffs is soft. Puffs Plus Lotion is gentle on sensitive skin. They help soothe irritation by locking in moisture better. So you can always put your best face forward. A face in need deserves Puffs indeed. Try Puffs Soft Pack today. It's the flexible pack that fits anywhere. Many Americans who have prescriptions fail to stay on them. That's why we created programs which encourage people to take their medications regularly. <laughs> so join us as we raise a glass to everyone who remembered today. Bottoms up, America. See you tomorrow. Same time. Another innovation from CVS Health. Because health is everything. Zantac Heartburn Alert! Stop! Nexium can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. If you have high blood pressure like I do, many cold medicines may raise your blood pressure. That's why there's Corsetin HBP. It relieves cold symptoms without raising blood pressure. So look for powerful cold medicine with the heart. Corsetin HBP. Ah, the bold new Camry. You can get a great deal during Toyotathon. I love the new look. And it's a blast to drive. Oh, so you've driven it. <laughs> yeah, taking it for a spin. Toyotathon is on. Get low 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the bold new 2015 Camry. Offer ends January 5th. Plus, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. Toyota's no-cost maintenance plan. I know a great place for a drive. Toyota, let's go places. Energizer Ultimate Lithium, the world's longest lasting AA battery and high tech devices. Up to six times longer than the other leading brand. This Thursday on the Weather Channel mornings, NASA is set to test launch the Orion space capsule, taking one giant leap toward landing on Mars, and it will be entirely dependent on the weather. I'll be live from Cape Canaveral with the official forecast. 
Don't miss Wake Up With Al and America's Morning Headquarters. Currently in our area, 75 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, slight chance of a rain shower, low 72. Thursday, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, high 79. Thursday night, thunder showers, low 72. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. treacherous highway in the world to experience the high risk of heavy rescue. Highway Through Hell, Sundays at 10 on the Weather Channel. The steel stairway is the direct path from the mountain where that arrow hits. It comes right down that stairway, hits the corner of the house. They expect that if we get the big rain, we'll get two inches in an hour or so, we will have three, four, five, eight feet of mud coming down. Wow, homeowners in California are bracing for the worst right now. Land that could give way at any moment. It's the result of several inches of rain coming down across the state. Thanks so much for staying with us tonight. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Nick Walker. We've also seen several sinkholes open up on the Bay Area. More on that in just a moment. But first, let's take a live look at California, specifically San Francisco on the left, Santa Monica on the right, both areas that have seen rain off and on today. And in San Francisco's case, once again, it was mostly on. But uh, it's a little bit dry right now, not to say we won't get more. As a matter of fact, there's another system waiting in the wings to bring you more rain as we head closer to the weekend. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Kelly? And Nick, it really is amazing how much rain we've seen over this past week. In fact, very much needed rain. Check this out. The Los Angeles Public Works Department saying over a billion gallons of water collected so far. That's enough water for 28,000 people for an entire year. Areas of Northern California have seen anywhere from one to four inches of rainfall so far. That's been over the last 72 hours. And from the San Francisco area, reports of popping manhole covers, stranded motorists, and road closures or blockages due to rain and flooding. San Francisco is offering free sandbags to businesses and residents. And Nick, this is the rainy season, but sometimes you get a little too much in a short period of time. That's what we're concerned about. That's why we have seen so many problems, because we've gotten too much too too often and all at once. This is the statistic of the day. Actually, this is the statistic of the storm. Almost four inches of rain here just since Sunday in San Francisco, and that exceeds the rain that San Francisco got for the entire year in 2013. 3.38 then, 3.95 now. And we're going to see a little bit more before this storm is over, and then there's another one right behind it. <laughs> We've got flash flood watches up, and this is some of the burn areas that we're watching already where we've seen mudslides and debris flow and flooding over roadways. The problems continue here and could continue here uh, for some time to come. San Francisco, we mentioned you're dry right now, but there's a little bit more rain coming your way. Inland areas, boy, we've seen some heavy stuff here off to the east of the Sacramento area, and it looks like a brand new flood warning right there along the interstate as a result of that too. A lot of rainfall here between San Francisco and Monterey today. About an inch and a half, a little over an inch and a half, but look there between San Francisco and Sacramento, almost two and a half inches. This is just in 12 hours, all right, 12 hours. And just to the east of the Chico area, we've seen about an inch and a half as well. We're going to see more due to the fact that we've got one system continuing to bring rainfall in the other area and the next one right behind it. So rain on into tomorrow and into Friday too. As the first storm weakens, the other one is going to move right on in. And although it's gonna take a little bit more of a northward track 
back, we're going to continue to see this moist flow into California. So look for more rain as we head through the day tomorrow, particularly from, say, south of Monterey, northward, and of course that mountain snow too. But I tell you what, we're going to need a whole lot more if we're going to get the snowpack up, up to speed. More rain on into Friday too. Friday night, probably it tapers off a bit, and then into Saturday, we're going to see maybe a drier day. Sunday, maybe some sunshine too, but not before we get maybe another one to two inches of rain here from Northern California down through the San Francisco Bay Area and even LA and San Diego could see up to an inch. Kelly? And Nick, we're going to track that rain right into the northeast by the weekend. There's a live look at Boston. We did have a little bit of light rain out there today, but it was relatively mild. Temperatures reached the low 50s, and that's above your average of 45 degrees. Now, we hope it's not going to be a complete washout of your weekend, but there is the potential we could see rain and even a wintry mix as we end the weekend and begin the new week with some snowfall. So let's take a look at the radar right now. You can see one system departing, taking with it all the rain out to the Atlantic Ocean. Behind that, we do have cold enough air to support snow around the Albany area and around, say, the Berkshires, southern Vermont as well, and also across the Tug Hill Plateau, getting a little bit of lake enhancement, some of that moisture being picked up off the lakes, and Nick's going to have more on that in just a second. Let's zoom on out towards the Pacific Ocean, where we've got this disturbance that we're going to be tracking, moving across the southern tier of the country, bringing with it uh, some rainfall and certainly the potential for a lot of it in the coming days. So take a look at our upper-level disturbance as we fast-forward to Friday now. All that moisture being pulled from the Gulf of Mexico. And with that, we've got the showers from the Arklatex all the way over to the Ohio Valley and the Tennessee Valley. And this is going to be lasting all the way into the weekend, unfortunately. So let's take a look at your forecast. It all starts Thursday night, right around the plaza in KC, right on down towards Fayetteville, Arkansas, St. Louis. We've got you in the rain. Sorry about that. On Friday, as you try to do some of that shopping and just run those errands across the Ohio Valley, it looks like a wet one for you on Friday. That system heads over toward the East Coast on Saturday, right along Interstate 95, but you'll notice the pink and even the blue on the map. That is a wintry mix and all snow for some of you across the northern part of New York State and northern New England. So Cincinnati, this one looks pretty mild for us. So it looks like rain, but it's chilly rain. 48 degrees on Friday, 45 degrees on Saturday. Hey, we're going to salvage the second half of your weekend, though. Looks great with a lot of sunshine and temperatures in the low 40s at night. We're going to see those lows dipping down to freezing or even below come Saturday morning. Nick, over to you. Well, from liquid to ice, check out the ice on the branches in Maine this morning. Don Murphy tweeted this picture to us, taken in Booth Bay Harbor. And remember last week, this time last week, we were seeing incredible images coming out of upstate New York with record amounts of lake effect snow. Some places near Buffalo were buried in more than seven feet. Reagan Meggie went back to West Seneca to see how that area is faring one week later. A week ago today, we were buried in nearly seven feet of snow, and the country right now is going through some weird warming trend. Believe it or not, it's actually a little warmer and milder than it would be here in West Seneca this time of year. Right now, I'm getting pelted in the face with sleet and some rain, but last week, it was all about the snow, and as you see, the snow basically all melted, with the exception for a couple of patches here. The New York State Attorney General is saying that because of all the snow, it delayed mail delivery. So he's asking the banks and utility companies to waive the late fees all for the Western New Yorkers who could be impacted. If you are one of them, all you have to do is go on to the attorney general's website for the state of New York. And there's a number listed where you can call and ask questions about that. Another thing, all of this snow here, although there's not a lot of it, seven feet of it blanketed Interstate 90, the throughway with main vein through Western New York. That caused major problems. About 123 miles was shut down in addition to over 100 150 motorists were left stranded. So now the assemblyman and a couple of other big political players will be getting together. The Department of Transportation, in addition to the thruway authority, saying, hey, let's see what we can do to better improve our tactics of snow removal. Hearings regarding that will be in Buffalo, but it's not determined exactly what day those will take place. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Reagan. And good news is, even though more snow is on the way, not going to see that kind of storm this time around. But we are going to put another little coating there. We're already seeing that snow south of Buffalo and into upstate New York off of Lake Ontario as well. These are some areas that the temperatures have been above the freezing mark. They're coming down now. They'll continue to come down. And so we've got a little lake effect, lake effect, uh, lake enhanced rain and snow going on. It will turn to all lake effect snow as we get through the 
next 24 hours. And we're really going to see a lot more here off of Lake Ontario. It is rain now, a bit of snowfall inland. The Tug Hill Plateau, hey, probably three to six inches before it's all done. And we're finding ourselves with the Lake Effect Snow Advisories already in effect here off of Lake Ontario. Prepare yourself, another Lake Effect event coming. This time, though, I don't think it's going to be making history. Kelly? Well, Nick, we are now about 12 hours away from another exciting moment in history. NASA is making the final preparations to launch a new spacecraft, Orion, marking a new chapter in space exploration. Coming up next, a preview of this heavily anticipated mission. We're back in just a few minutes. But, of course, the radar is acting up a little bit for us. Let's take you on a little tour showing you the rainfall in California where you see the yellows, the oranges. That indicates some of the heavier downpours. And you see we do have a flash flood warning in effect for parts of El Dorado. Also Nevada and Placer counties until 7.15 Pacific time. Currently in our area, 75 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, slight chance of a rain shower, low 72. Thursday, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, high 79. Thursday night, thunder showers, low 72. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. all-natural turkey chili is back in season. Slow cooked with turkey raised without antibiotics. Tart tomatillos, chilies, carrots, edamame, and more. The savory spice of the chili pairs perfectly with the black bean hummus and the fresh crunch of Napa cabbage blend in our southwestern chicken flatbread. And it all comes together in a you pick two made just for you. Only at Panera Bread. Brighten your day with Panera Bread's Chicken Tortellini Alfredo with Caesar Salad. Why do you want to switch to Walmart Family Mobile? Unlimited talk, text, and web for just $34.88 a month? Honey, we got unlimited internet. Look at that. What should we do? I mean, we could pin, post, tweet, snap, tag, check, and share. Oh. Why don't you do whatever you just said on your own phone? <laughs> <laughs> because you need to do more without paying more. Get connected with Walmart Family Mobile, our lowest price unlimited plan for just $34.88 a month. The plan you want, online and in-store. Save money, live better, Walmart. Dear Sadie, thanks for teaching us to be as patient as you. This holiday season, give thanks to the pets who inspire you. For four days only at PetSmart, save up to 30% on thousands of items. PetSmart. With Crizal No Glare lenses, neither water, nor scratch, nor smudge, nor glare of night can keep you from the clearest vision possible. And Crizal has ESPF 25 to protect your eyes from the damaging rays of the sun. Crizal, live life in the clear. Breaking wind and average fleece. Breaking wind and Duluth trading shoreman's fleece. Duluth Trading Shoreman's Fleece. Three gust-busting layers, one beefed-up fleece. Get one only at DuluthTrading.com. When I crave a smoke, that's all I crave. That's where this comes in. Only Nicorette Gum has patented dual-coated technology for great taste. Plus, Nicorette Gum gives you intense craving relief. And that helps put my craving in its place. That's why I only choose Nicorette. <laughs> it's only for a couple of nights, okay? Um, for me? She'll love it. Thanks. By the end of the day, my dogs were barking. They used to get really tired. Arr, 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 arr. 
there until I started gelling. It's this awesome gel only in Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel Insoles. It's like walking on a wave. I love my Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel Insoles. When they're in my shoes, my feet and legs feel less tired. They've got two layers for support and cushioning. It's dual wave technology. I'm walking on it all day. Of course I feel energized. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel Insoles. I'm a believer. The Dyson DC-59 Motorhead has better overall performance across all floors than the top five best-selling full-sized vacuums without the hassle of a cord. Well, you've been warm, you've been cold, now you're going to be warming up one more time here around the Southern Plains. We're talking about some unseasonable warmth coming late week, well above average temperatures in places like Texas and Oklahoma. Here's where you are right now, 56 degrees in Dallas, San Antonio's 58, 43 in Oklahoma City, down just a few degrees from what we saw as far as the high temperatures today. We're going to see them warm up even more here in the days to come, and here's the reason why. We've got these two jet streams. The northern branch is going to be moving a little farther toward the north and keeping the coldest air up in Canada. The southern branch also moving northward and that is going to allow the warmth to really expand here in the south central plains. We're going to see the temperatures probably staying fairly close to average northward but here toward the south they're going to be above average by several degrees in many cases before Friday comes. Look at Oklahoma City five degrees above average tomorrow seven degrees above average in Dallas with 66 degrees then we get up into the 70s there in Dallas and in Houston well above average by about 15 16 17 degrees and then coming back down closer to average by the time we get into Saturday at Dallas, Midland, Oklahoma City, Albuquerque, Denver, Houston still staying fairly warm. But it is going to be Dallas with an average high of 60 degrees that will see a big difference here in the days to come. Tomorrow, there's that 66 degree high, then 75 on Friday before we come back down as we head into the weekend. Kelly? Well, Nick, tomorrow will be an historic day for NASA. The Orion spacecraft will be launched into deep space, the farthest space mission designed to carry astronauts since Apollo in 1972. Now, this flight, which is unmanned, marks NASA's first step towards putting an astronaut on Mars. But before that can happen, a large-scale isolation study is underway. Our own Dave Malkoff explains. I think it's important to advance science and technology. The latest and longest American mission to Mars is happening right now. <laughs> that is breathtaking. It's remarkably similar. On Hawaii's Big Island, this bubble habitat cut off from the rest of the world is about as close as anyone can come to living on Mars. I'd love to be one of the, the first people to go to Mars. Zach Wilson, an engineer from Boulder, Colorado, is one of six people handpicked by NASA to live in isolation over the next eight months. Before NASA actually sends people to the red planet, they want to know how humans will eat, sleep. It's identical to one of the sleeping pods in space. And tolerate each other in an environment like this. We visited before a shorter mission in March. Located on the side of a mountain, this habitat is a three hour rocky drive and a world away from the resorts and crashing surf below. Now this area doesn't just look like the surface of Mars. There's literally less atmosphere up here at 8,500 feet. And here's a good example. I bought these two sealed bags of potato chips on the surface, and now they're ready to pop like balloons. We can only simulate certain things here. So the mission continues, preparing Earthlings like Zach to explore strange new worlds. Maybe this is as close as I ever get, but maybe it's just an, another step on, on my path to Mars. That giant leap could happen less than 20 years from today. Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. All right, we're a little more than 11 hours away now from history being made. Be sure to wake up to our live coverage of the launch. Marie LaRosa, live from Cape Canaveral tomorrow morning on AMHQ. That starts at 7 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time. Ah, uh, but what will the weather bring? We've been talking about a little bit of rain. We actually had some fog we there did. this evening. Mm -hmm. But uh, things are looking a little bit better even as we speak. Yeah, we had some rain showers yesterday. Today it was the fog. Today it is, we're good to go right now. <laughs> if they were to try to launch it right at this moment. But, you know, tomorrow uh, we'll see 
see if that forecast will continue to cooperate because the location, of course, on the East Coast, a launch window from 7.05 a.m. closes, though, at 9.44, and that means a duration, a window duration of two hours and 39 minutes. Still, I think that's long enough where NASA feels pretty confident. As a matter of fact, a 70% chance uh, for a go here on this mission. And there's the forecast. We are calling for clear skies for the most part as we get toward the 7 o'clock hour. Temperatures in the upper 60s, and note the winds will really not be too much of a problem either. It's nice to see that rain going away. By the way, I'm so happy for Maria to get to be there because I know what a uh. space fanatic <laughs> she is. So she's the perfect person to be down there on the east coast of Florida. So good luck to everybody there. Can't wait to see it. Well, you know, every day we get to see some pretty amazing pictures and video, and we love to pass them along to you. All right, take a look at this. Pretty amazing, right? But can you guess what it is? Well, we are going to take a closer look at this and break it down for you. That's coming up next on Weather Center Live. And Jim Cantori is in the lab with your winter weather update coming up right after your local on the 8th. Once upon a time, the world was filled with magic. This holiday season. Your job is to make sure that whatever remains does not fall into the wrong hands. Welcome to the library. Minotaurs, haunted houses, oh. Santa Claus. Santa is real? The world needs heroes hey, hey. that fight by the book. Never gonna get used to that. I know, right? The Librarians, two-hour series premiere, Sunday at 8 on TNT. This Thursday on the Weather Channel Mornings, NASA is set to test launch the Orion space capsule, taking one giant leap toward landing on Mars, and it will be entirely dependent on the weather. I'll be live from Cape Canaveral with the official forecast. Don't miss Wake Up With Al and America's Morning Headquarters. This Sunday night. Prospectors, the Million Dollar Mountain. Sundays at 9, premiering this Sunday on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 75 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, slight chance of a rain shower, low 72. Thursday, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, high 79. Thursday night, thunder showers, low 72. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. it is 